In this video, we will be going over the Add Points tool. The Add Points tool is the best way to add additional points into a pre-existing graphic. When the Add Points tool is opened on an equipment setting, the first window that comes up has the three standard options that are seen when a graphic is first created. You can choose between relative by tags, relative by nav name, or absolute by point ID. In this case, the graphic is already relative by nav name, so I'll go ahead and choose that option and click the Add button. The next screen gives you a list of points to choose from, based on your context. Go ahead and select the points you'd like to add, and then click the Add button. The points will immediately be added to your Virtual Points panel in the left menu. You can always double check the binding of the point by opening up the Virtual Points drop-down list and checking the value of the binding property. As you can see, since we selected Relative by Nav Name, the tool automatically created a relative binding for the point based on its nav name. Okay, so let's say you have an example in which you'd like to add a relative point based on its tags and not its nav name. All you have to do is click on the Add Points tool, select Relative by Tags, and choose your point. Now if you check the points bindings, you'll see that the binding is actually looking for a set of tags instead of a particular nav name. Okay, so now let's look at the Add Points tool on a floor plan. As you may already know, when you initially create a new floor plan graphic, you get the option to select a sample equipment from that floor, and then you get the option to select a default point and a comparison point from one set of similar equipment. So with that same concept in mind, we made it so that when you click on the Add Points tool, it will check to see what context you're currently navigated to, and if it recognizes it as a floor, it will bring up a window that is very similar to the window that comes up when you're creating a new floor plan graphic. So remember, if you're not getting that same window, you need to make sure you are navigated to the correct floor before editing the floor plan graphic. Okay, so once you've got the Add Points window open, simply select a sample equipment type and then select your default point and a comparison point if you have one. Once you hit Next, it will allow you to select from a list of equipment that are similar to the sample equipment you chose in the previous window. Once you hit next again, it will automatically add those points into your virtual points panel ready for you to use. So if you forgot to bring in some equipment when you first created the floor plan or simply need to add more equipment to an existing floor plan, the Add Points tool will help you get the job done. Another way to bring in points is through the Equipment menu. The Equipment menu allows you to sift through your database and drag in any points that you may need. Points that are dragged into your graphic via the equipment panel will come in as absolute points, which means they are hard-coded to a specific point ID. Alright, so those are all the ways we recommend adding points to your pre-existing graphics. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the details discussed throughout this tutorial, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.